Yeah, listen, I go, I, I go abroad and I fight a war for my country because I am a patriot, a real patriot. And then I come home back here and this is the treatment? Some weird jetpack conspiracy? Well, it's not a conspiracy, Big Dog. Take a look. Big, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Check the price tag. Check the though. price tag on it, dog. <laughs> Why is... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so we're saving up for it, you know what I'm saying? Or you can spend an extra three million and get that little right, helicopter. Come on, yeah, take, come take a look over here. Wait, where? Oh, that helicopter! Yeah, the little yeah. one. It's a one-seater. But that one is super cool. Yeah, but what would you rather have? That or the jetpack? But this is like an evil villain helicopter. Yeah. This is so cool. Imagine you get chased by the cops and you jump off a hill and then this helicopter takes off. Uh, uh, yeah, boys, I'm going to the amazing. top floor of the brown garage to meet Cray. If they are a fed, I might cool, get arrested but... here. So just Wait, how be much in the area. Cray one? is not a fed. He's not a fed. Yeah, okay. So we need to do everything in our power to make a fuck ton of money real quick. But that's what I was saying. So well, I had an idea, but everyone was against it. Wait, wait. She just said, she okay, just told people to start hiding when I was on the phone with her. Uh. We get, uh we start giving out free weed the whole block. And then they all sell weed. And all the money goes towards a jetpack. And we get a block jetpack for the whole block. Wait, but. Uh, where would we get the money if we give it out for free? Oh my fucker, we give them the weed for free and then they give us the money that they s make from selling it back. And we buy a jetpack with it. But why would they agree to do that? Because you get a jetpack for uh, a so block. Every the no, no, they don't time. get a jetpack. Yes, they, they get one they get forty at nah, the jetpack. Yeah, but exactly. Everybody gets 10 minutes a day on it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, if people... If pe uh, fuck. If people are open to it, it's not the worst idea I've ever heard. That's what I'm saying. But you know what's gonna happen when we buy the jetpack. Lovemore is gonna get into it, drive it for three minutes, ah, probably one minute, and then crash it, and then 12 million down the drain. This guy, yo, Lovemore, yo. We spent 1.2 <laughs> million to buy this fucking mechanic shop for Lovemore, and his bitch ass hasn't even fucking been around to do anything, so I have to get a refund now. I'm Wait, he hasn't, he hasn't operated it at no, all? No, no. So what happened to it? It's just fucking sitting there. <laughs> no it's, one else is doing anything dust. with it. It's now the Federal Reserve. <laughs> what do you mean Federal Reserve? Oh wait, now that's the other building. Well, the thing is, no one else has keys, I don't think, AK. But like, you know what I mean? Like, no, yeah, we don't have a mechanic shop because we opened it for a day and then it closed forever. Wow, okay. <laughs> that's that's not great. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, we've got the... We got the other house from uh, TBD. Uh, the mm, there, okay. The How much uh, was it? One million. Okay. Yeah, that's not that bad. What what made them uh, sell it? I just spoke to them and they just ended up selling it. Only problem is, is okay. uh, I mean, I've, we had it for like a week now, maybe a little bit longer actually. I spoke to uh, Miguel and he and he ended up getting a different deal for a different turf, so he don't he don't really want it no more. So mm, okay. We gotta find a group. I just don't know who. Like who who we gonna put on the block? Yeah, fair enough. Have we been looking though? Um, yes and no, really. I told people to like see if they. Are. Oh, they speak to the gorillas, but I don't know. I don't know who to speak to from the gorillas. We should try to speak well, to um Brandon Valentino's boys. They're the only other people I could find. Okay. Yeah, I mean, put the word out then. What uh, what, uh, what did uh, Miguel and them choose to do? They got, they got another deal for, I think, Fudge. Fudge Lane, okay. Yeah. But so we've been in but a couple that, of wars. Uh, for... Wasn't that Sly's uh, turf, or who else was there earlier? Yeah, but Sly's, Sly's gang pretty much disbanded and they sell for us now. Yeah, no, I I, I get that, but... Yo, is he Gus with the seven Doesn't months? that mean that they were the ones to deal with them for Fudge? Yeah, I think so. I don't, so I don't know, I heard, I heard all... clowns were there too. I don't know, I don't know who they dealt with. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, okay, well, at least we have the opportunity to uh, to have someone else come in. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, we just have to put the word out. You've been in war. Yeah, we went to war with Cyprus. 
Long story short, you know, I'm, it's actually always one of the longer wars we've been in. It lasted like five or six dates. Um, Jack, you know Jack, my dog Jack. Oh, Jack yeah, which one? Yeah, um, yeah. Well, we don't know the full full story, but it's pretty much. I think they, I think they had some type of road rage incident, and they got into a shootout or some shit. And then uh, Jack ended up getting uh, ocean dumped and his phone taken and then ocean dumped again. Ah, more him. And then he never got his phone back. So, you know. We ended up finding... How did we find out? Uh, zebra. Zebra and Bates, right? No, no. No, they found the phone. So they oh, they found, found the phone. phone, but how did we find out about it happening? I already forgot. Uh, in was it Marlo or somebody? Ex Jack, or called him about something? I don't fucking remember, bro. Okay, doesn't matter to be honest. Or is the war still happening? Or no, no, that's done. Okay. Yo, go to uh, Low Soul House. I'm with you there. All right, but... Uh, what else? We got some new members. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. So, like five new hangarounds. Yeah, I mean, you, you okay. tell them. Good. Mm, so we got Zebra. Uh, Emo. Lucky. Thomas. Who, who am I missing? Omar. Omar. Okay. Yeah, I don't know any of those motherfuckers, but uh, if you guys take them in, then. And cocaine, right? We, we, we yeah, cocaine. 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 cocaine as well. Yeah, right, cocaine. Well, it's your guys' responsibility, I guess. Well, listen, the way it is now is like, uh, since we have so many fucking people, not everyone's gonna make it, you know what I mean? Okay. Just gotta, we just gotta and be how like, do you, uh, um, how do you ascertain that? Well, we just have to be fucking pretty harsh, right? Well, not harsh, but we gotta be pretty honest. If we don't want somebody in the gang, we just don't want them. We don't, we're not like trying to force it to work. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. Hmm, what else? Um. Oh, the white card shit? I mean, you don't know about all that, right? Pretty much every gang is now holding down a store and robbing the fucking stores so they can get a white card. Like one store, they're holding one store. I mean, nah, nah, all the stores. Okay. All, the, all the stores are being robbed constantly now. Cause, so if you get a white card, there's this guy, uh, guy in Mirror Park under the fucking tunnels. And he would trade okay. stuff for that white card, you know what I mean? Like, um,. Fermite, but not not the fermite fuse, like fermite charges. And uh, it's used to like rob the. You can go in and fermite the fucking jewelry store and rob that place. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, we did it today. Oh and shit! And there's a uh... the majestic oh, casual no, with the four months. Thank you so much. What what came out of it? Uh, some watches. Supposedly though, supposedly there's a there's a computer in the back, and uh, apparently you get like a like a chip. People found a chip over there. And on that chip, it's like some uh, bank truck information. But by the time we got there, it was already like fucking robbed, you know what I'm saying? So we didn't get shit. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Done. And then there's a cargo ship. Oh, yeah. Nah, this, bro. <laughs> I don't know. It <laughs> might be a now, myth. this might be a myth. Yeah. This, might, this might actually be a full-on a full myth. But apparently, <laughs> myth. But apparently, there's a cargo ship. And uh, it's got a really loud fucking horn, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And I've been told like four times that somebody's heard the horn and I got into a plane and went searching and found nothing, bro. And there's this idiot fuck Zuck must be hearing the fucking train horns and screaming on the fucking radio, wasting everybody's fucking time. But, okay. but apparently I got told there's this cargo ship that has armed guards and crates on, on it. Okay. With like, with like fucking class twos and shit. And so what, we can steal their weapons, maybe? You steal the crates. So apparently there's a helicopter on the ship that you pick the crates up with and take them somewhere. 
and then Ooh, you thermite okay. the crate. Okay, but we've but never seen that. We never, yeah, yeah it it's, it's a, a myth. We've never even heard. The All whole I know, one. it's yeah, a myth. Yeah. I haven't even seen the crate. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll just have to st steal more trolls for it. Do we know anyone that has claimed that they have been on the ghost ship? Yeah, I spoke to Hades about it. Because... And they claim that they've been on the ghost vessel. Yeah. Hmm. But they could also be uh, habitual liars. Yeah, it could be yeah. capping. Oh, and also... Also... You know the big we power should start telling people that we've been on the ship. <laughs> you know the big power plant? Uh, yeah. Right, so... We can go up there... And disable, uh, shut the power down for the whole fucking city, right? And okay. we went to prison. And while the power's down, the prison gates. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers like open up. We we ha we hacked the the panels of the prison gates and we got inside the prison. Mm. So you know we could break a motherfucker out whenever whenever Revenant gets sent up for like seven years. Oh, you don't even know about that, do you? Oh yeah, he don't know about that. <laughs> okay. I'm new. So Revenant. Uh, Zuck was gone for a while, and I'm like, okay, Reverend, you're in charge of Moonshine, you know what I'm saying? Because obviously he's only other, only other guy doing Moonshine for us. So I put him in charge of Moonshine while Zuck was out of the business. Two, two or three days of him being in charge of the Moonshine, he ended up he ended up getting fucking uh, found by the police at the stairs, and then ended up getting raided, and ended up getting fucking, what was it, like 2,000 bags of weed, like 50 fucking... Moonshine. Pretty much half crates. the gang lived in there. Half the gang lived in there, and they're getting the fucking uh, the house damn they seized. Damn. The police the came in, right? read the fucking place. It, it's yeah, go gonna ahead, get man. seized in two months. Like that that's the that's the kicker. It's on the docket. If if it goes through, they will seize the property. Uh, for right now, it's not, and I, he can't sell it either, right? Like we have to wait and wait for the docket. So it's probably gonna get seized. Which is uh, lovely. Could that end up what it goes on auction? Or? It goes on auction, so, yeah. and it has. I, I think oh. it's, it'll be the same as like the VAF auctions, where like a civilian, no record, has to buy it. You know? Oh, speaking okay. about houses, man. Yesterday. So, yesterday, actually, this is a. Did anybody tell you about this? Yes, yes, I didn't tell him. Yeah, the mirror park. Did anybody tell you about that? Yeah, I called James Malding. Yeah, what did they say? Did they want to swap the house or something? Yeah, so, so, yeah, so they came to me and they were like, yo, obviously, you know, Grove is their block and they wanted to swap the two houses we had for a house in Mirror Park. Do the machines in there, plus like we only really have one house though, no? Ah, we got two, we got two. Uh, but the problem is, is that one of the houses is uh, our weed grow. And to, uh, to get rid of that place would be a big headache, right? Because Eddie would have to get the new formula for the new house. All types yep. of shit, right? So we can't tell that one. But what we could do is what I was thinking, if you're up for it. It's up to you if you want to move out of there and live in Mirror Park. You could sell your house, Ming, or trade it, sorry, with, with the one in Mirror Park and maybe give them some money on top. If they're open for that. Nah, I don't really want it. I mean, it's up to you, sir. If you don't want it, then. The house yep. has more sentimental value. No, I don't give a fuck about it. Or living yep. in Mirror Park. Fuck, I want to live around... Cadbury with a gifted. Who the fuck are they? So much. Can of syrup. Can of syrup. I mean, yeah, it's up to you. I mean, I'm saying it's a nice house, though. Uh, the fuck you gonna do in the report? Okay, but we need to make some serious money in order to buy the a yacht pack. <laughs> yeah. uh... I think every week, when, when the, from the income of the operations, we put some money aside for it. Okay, how are the operations going? Mike, how's the noodles going? Um, so I was gone for two weeks. Uh, pretty bad, AK. There's like 800k okay. in there now from two weeks. I'm waiting to pay everybody out and I'll have all the money. But you're not going now, are you? So how's it going now? How's it going now? I mean, terrible, to be honest. Why? I was speaking to the mayor about it. The, the booths to run right now are like ever increasing amounts of effort to hit numbers that you could do in your sleep a couple of months ago it's like the only thing i'm thinking of doing is just raising our prices times four so that i can pay the workers basically four times as much but why is that so why is that but because there's solo foot traffic goober is practically dead which was like a backbone of the industry 
Um, and a lot of people have just worked at a booth and just aren't interested in doing it anymore. Like they're onto bigger and better things. You know, they want to go, mm. you know, tune their car. But people the still have shop. to eat. So how do they? I think we should food? invest in vending machines and put them around the city for food in them. Yeah. Yeah. P oh. People who still have to eat, like some stalls run, but like majority of them are just closed, like full time. Like I would say like out of the week from what I see, they may be open like 20% of the time. One, one or two booths. Okay. It's just, and what do people do when the booths are closed? People have just been making food at senior buns, <laughs> like making it themselves. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, what we gotta like, do, I, I, right? You just gotta pay the employees. Listen, it's better to have that place open. And we overpay, overpay the employees who make little money than not have it open at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah and and to, to be fair, I am working on stuff, right? Like, just today, uh, Chaos Legion is renting out the booth from us. They have the designs. They just need a clerk. Um, what they're gonna do is they're gonna rent the booth, make their own meals to sell up at their repair shop, and give me 20% of all profit on every meal they ever sell. And also, I spoke to Duct Tape in prison, and he spoke with us. Basically, the prisoners, the lifers, can get like negotiated release to go and do community service. And I said, come and work for us at the noodle booth, and it's free labor. And they also get to go and mingle and interact. But other than stuff like that, it, it's tough. You know, I'm gonna just have to pay people more, and I, and I will do that once we pay them out for what I was going for. Okay, yeah, I mean, fourth right, a little profit is better than no profit. Especially, yeah, yeah. I think being open is better than, yeah, definitely exactly. more important than being closed. Yeah. Unless you just overpay the employees, yeah. but like to the point where they're like, oh, you know, they want to work, right? Exactly, yeah. I mean, I said to Lucky, I'll pay 6k per hour, and he's like, oh, I'll do it then. So, yeah, exactly, you know? So, that's okay. just what I yeah, do. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, and then, what about the rest? Fucking, uh, the weed operation we, and well, uh, I'm Moonshine, honest, we, obviously, uh, fuck now. No, nah, but Zuck's back, and I think Moonshine's fine. Weed is good again. I, I'm a business for a while. No one was selling weed, but I got these new sellers and uh, actually sell a lot of weed. I think they bought like 80k. I mean, we got kind of, we kind of got put on pause when the house got raided. Yeah, we did. We did. I think we got put. Uh, we went to. Uh, oh, we went in two wars. We went to war with Hydra and Cyprus. Everything's kind of been on okay. uh, kind of standby. What was mode. the war in Hydra for? Well, we ended up robbing one of their money runs, and they wanted that money back. And then you know, oh, be honest with you, they they, they got that money back. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Shit was tragic out there in the streets, you know what I mean? Did you get slid on big time? or? We got, yeah, we got slid on. Nah, sometimes it'd be like that, huh? <laughs> sometimes you get slid on, dog, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, sometimes the slider gets slid on. Slid on, slid off. Um, what else? Yeah. But I mean, weed's good now. These these guys are selling on our blog, but eight thousand bags of weed from us in two days. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Fuck. That's pretty good. Sort of a sort of slice people. Okay. We have tuna so much. Uh, what? Oh yeah, the tuna, tuna shop. shop. That's open. Cops have like three hundred thousand really nice worth of fucking oh, upgrades in oh, their cars. Oh yeah. So. Oh yeah. Ooh, hey, okay. hey, we, have, we have a shiesty heist planned. Apparently, then okay. shiesty has like I, I I think by now. I would say 400k worth of upgrades in this car. Okay, but surely um, if we're going to do that, we need to do it soon because those will start going down in price, no? I mean, I don't know. So the way, okay, so the way you get the, the parts for the tuna shop, you know, uh, you know, uh, the chop guy? Yeah. So you go to him and, you know, this, this guy, this chop guy, you know, he's a, I guess he's a gambling man, right? You go to him, you give him 30 bed, and he'll give you a fucking random box from his fucking backyard. And God yeah, knows, uh, uh, who, knows what's, who knows what's in there, you know what I mean? Like, could be, mm. could be some brakes, or it could be a fucking V12 engine. Okay. Wait, can you do engine swap on your car? Yeah. Yeah, yep. you can build the engine. Oh! Wait, so I could buy a shit car and make it into a sleeper. I, go, I mean, yeah. you could. If you got a, oh, got a lot yes. of money. I what do you mean, lot of money? Bro, the problem is getting all the parts. Expensive. You gotta get the engine yeah. and you gotta get the fucking. But what if I steal someone the... else's engine? Then it's free, no? I mean, it is. That's what we got yeah. to steal chassis shit. Mo the, most of the parts, yeah. though, keep in mind, like, they have a lot of. They're high maintenance, so they kind of they kind of go bad. You need to replace them. Maybe people are saying, like, every two weeks to a month. So it's a costly endeavor to have a sleeper car. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. But the engines, I think, are fine, but everything else, yeah, you gotta kind of, you know, upkeep that. Okay, but uh, yeah, the shiesty heist. Take his engine, then free uh, engine. Only problem is this motherfucker, like, 
This motherfucker is on, on the edge. You know what I'm saying? If anybody gets into the sky, he's going to shoot them. Really? Yeah. Can he Can he do that? I mean, he said he said to me he'll do it and, and then he'll go to court. I mean, I got shot the other day. I stole a cop car, took it to the tuner shop. He just pulled in and said, get out of the car. You fucking... And he shot me. I dumped it in the water. Should should sue him for it. Yeah, he, he ain't, ain't playing around. He ain't playing around with his cars, big dog. We had like a, we had like yeah, a two I, or three I'm different I'm playing plans. around in the court of, court of law. I'll sue that motherfucker for his car. If you shoot me. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we should totally steal his sh shit. Fuck shiesty. He, that guy's a fucking bitch. Yeah, he's a fucking bitch. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's go to the little house. There's a shit ton of uh, boards that needs to be run. Oh, yeah, we got a fuckload. Also, a lot of money that needs to be run as well, I think. We got a crate today as well in like uh, two hours. Okay. Bro, bro, we also have that cash exchange that I started for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about it. You go hit that shit now or what? How long do we have left? Yeah. yeah. Uh, an hour. As you hit it quick now. When did you start it? 